Hi, I'm Michael. Let's talk about that. <laughs> so, let's see, what happened today? Oh, I don't know. Nothing really interesting comes to mind. Oh wait, other than that we totally got the apartment that we wanted. Well, it's actually a condo. But yeah, we totally got it. We're very excited. Uh, what else happened? Yeah, that was our exciting news. Can you think of any other news? We're very excited to move in. We're going to be moving in the first. It's going to be great. But I want to tell you a little bit about the story of how we found this place and secured our place in that place, if that makes any sense. So I think I might need to move the microphone a little bit closer. <coughs> so we we've talked about in previous videos that we've recently started looking into our finances and paying attention to them more which is really great we figured out that we need to spend less on stuff and one of our biggest expenses that we found was our rent each month so um, we started looking around to find places that might be a little bit cheaper and we decided that we really needed to move into something cheaper so uh, Cassie had used an apartment finder here in the Austin area last time we were here looking for a nice place to live and that's how we found this place which has been great uh, and it's been wonderful we've loved it here uh, lots of space uh, haven't heard the neighbors hardly at all it's been it's been really nice we've really enjoyed it but it's a little more than we need so we're gonna move anyway Cassie contacted our apartment finder that we had used previously and said, hey, we're looking for a new place, and here's the parameters of what we're looking for. We're looking for something under $700 within a 15-mile radius of Mike's work and two-bedroom, because we're going to have a baby that we don't have a name yet for, nor do we know, know the sex. But anyway, that's what we were looking for. So the process began. Uh, he gave us a link to some search results and we looked at it and eh, they were alright. Not, nothing really exciting. And then, uh, would you say a couple days later, the condo showed up? Yeah. So, a couple days after we looked at it the first time, this condo showed up. And the pictures were like, eh, we'll take a look at it. Uh, Cassie called him and said, you know, let's go look at these places. I'm interested in these couple. Um, and we were going to do it on a Friday. Something like that. But he was really busy, so he rescheduled, and we did it on Monday. It was either Friday or Saturday. Rescheduled to a Monday. Like, whatever. You know, we're not in a rush. So we go look at these places on Monday. And the first one we go to is this condo that we're going to move into and rent from the owners. And we went in, not really expecting whole locks. The pictures were terrible. They weren't terrible. They just, they are kind of like all the other pictures you see in bad apartment listings. Uh, they don't really show you much. The lighting's bad, a little bit blurry. <laughs> just not that great. Not, not very compelling. But we go in, and also the outside of this place, it's, uh, it's kind of in an ugly area. It's not really beautiful. You go into and you look at the outside of these buildings and they're not really exciting. But we walked in and the place is really cool. And I'm sure we'll do videos of the inside of the place. But uh, it's a fairly small place, two bedroom. But the cool thing is there's a spiral staircase up to the second floor. Very cool. The loft. Okay. The loft. Uh, washer and dryer out on the back patio. Uh, in a closet very cool so we don't heat up the apartment it's on the third floor which is exciting I think I probably won't think it's very exciting when I'm carrying all the boxes up and down but it's kinda cool you know third floor I don't know if there's more security there hopefully less bugs I'm hoping uh, because it's condo and all the others are condos most of the people who live there are owners so it's kind of a different demographic in that 
more people that live there actually care about the place they live in and I don't know just different since they're owners and not as many renters so we're looking forward to that uh, we met the owners when we went and they were really nice and they liked us they liked that we didn't have any pets um, so yeah we hit it off um, so we looked at that place and we're like yeah this is really like really cool and the apartment finder guy was like wow this place is really impressive I was not expecting this we went to the next place it was junk the the neighbors had uh, cats going in and out of one of their open windows and the bathroom was nasty and it was in kind of a scary part of town not very exciting and the same price of the place we just looked at that was really exciting <laughs> so we're like yeah we'll take the other one we're done looking we're gonna take it <laughs> so uh, the apartment finder gave us the forms we filled them out the next day, emailed them over, and the next day after we emailed them over, the apartment finder guy called Cassie and said, I'm sorry, apparently somebody over the weekend looked at the condo and they really liked it, and they've already turned in their paperwork, they're getting checked out now, and they're probably going to get it. So I'm really sorry. And we were bummed out. Both of our days were shot. Cassie cried. We were sad because this, we really felt like this place was an answer to our prayers. We've been praying for help to implement our plan to get out of debt quickly. Um, and we knew that rent was one of those expenses we had to reduce, but a lot of the places that fit our budget were kind of scary and we we knew we would be able to do it but it wouldn't it wouldn't be what's the word not that it would be uncomfortable just kind of shoddy <laughs> not really a place you want to raise your first child in so we we really felt broken hearted when we thought we weren't going to get this place because we really felt both of us like it was an answer to our prayers so I tried to get work done at work, and that didn't work very well. Cassie cried and was upset. And we're like, well, maybe maybe that wasn't the right place. God has something better for us, or different for some reason. <laughs> you remember me saying that? Vaguely, I was Vaguely, distraught. she was distraught. She wasn't listening. <laughs> So, is it the next day or the evening? It doesn't day, really matter, the but same day. Just like we'll just get the facts right. The same day in the evening, the apartment finder calls Cassie and says, what did he say? Have you said, did you say your prayers this morning? Is that what he said? Yeah, he said, did you say your prayers this morning? She's like, um... Uh, did you answer him? I said, why do you ask? Oh, you didn't say yes? Well, I hadn't. <laughs> we had been praying for help, but apparently we hadn't prayed that morning. So he relayed to us that the person that had looked at it and applied got rejected by the owners because he had a pet and they don't want a pet in their condo. Uh, might have something to do with they bought it to fix it up and rent it out, and it might have been destroyed by pets. She said she had four cats at one time. Oh, she, yeah, she had four pets at one time, and she hated it. So they were not at all interested in having a pet in their condo that they were renting out. So we're like, <laughs> starting to hyperventilate. We're like, oh my gosh, we, we found this place and fell in love with it, and then broken hearted over it and now it might be a possibility again ah! <laughs> so needless to say as Cassie was talking on the phone with him she told me while she was talking on the phone that we needed a application fee and the deposit for the condo if we wanted it we needed he, he was going to print out the forms 
we were going to meet him to give him the money and he was going to drop the forms off in the morning uh, to somebody in person. So this is like 4.45. I'd, I'd come home early because it was going to rain that day. I'm, I was on the motorcycle. So I hear her saying that we need this money and I look at my watch and I know that the downtown credit union that we use that office closes at 5.30. The closer ones close at 5, and I wasn't going to be able to get there by 5. But I had more time if I went to the downtown one, so I I judiciously followed the speed limit and made it to the credit union downtown. I got the cashier's checks for the application fee and the, da- the deposit, and then I coordinated with our apartment finder to meet him, to give him the money and sign the forms. And we gave it to him, and then I came home and we're like, oh, we might get it. <laughs> and then we waited, because they have to verify, you know, employment, previous places that we've lived, whether we owe money, uh, our credit score, things like that. Uh, so one day, I, one of my coworkers said they verified my place of employment, which is great. Um, and then today, we've been waiting a couple of days. Today, I come home and Cassie says that the owners of the condo, their realtor that's been taking care of outsourcing the verification of everything, gives her a call and says, "Your." He was asking questions, right? Because wh- mm-hmm. our previous place that we lived said that we owed seventy something dollars. And our current landlord company, whatever, wouldn't give them any information. Probably because our contract isn't up yet. So I'm like, oh my goodness, this is insane. (laughs) This is not going the way we had planned. So I'm upset. I call not at Cassie for telling me, but upset that this whole situation seems to be going the wrong way. I call our previous place that we lived, Pinto Creek, and I, and I call them up and I say, hey, we're trying to get into a new place. They called and verified, and now they're telling us that you say we owe you money, and we didn't think you owed we owed you any money, and we haven't gotten any notices that we owe you any money. What's going on? I know you guys probably changed management around the time we were moving out. Was there an error? Uh, I talked to the new manager, and he said there might have been if they wanted to resend the verification, they would sign it off, and he was going to check with his bookkeeper and review the books to see if we actually do owe them money. If we do, we'll pay him the stupid 70 something dollars. It doesn't really matter. If we owe him money, we owe him money. Um, and then I called the condo owner's realtors, realtor to try to explain again what was going on and let him know that it wasn't an issue and whatnot. So I finally get him on the phone, call, have to make a couple phone calls, get him on the phone, and I start explaining this stuff. And then he explains to me, after I've explained this, that the condo owners have accepted our application and they would love to have us as renters. (laughs) So that is the short convoluted story of how we got the condo that we don't live in yet or how we rent, ended up renting the condo that we don't live in yet. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I love you so much.
so yeah we're excited we'll get to show you a little bit later where we're moving into and we'll probably do a moving out video we're gonna do a video showing because we need to get renters into this place so we can get our money back for the remainder of, remainder of our contract so we're gonna do a walkthrough video talking about this place so we can list it on Craigslist get somebody in here sooner and we'll keep that for posterity's sake because we're cool like that so yeah that's, that's quite the story and we really feel like uh, this is a, a blessing and a miracle because this quality of place at that price for the location is just it's really impressive I don't think we could have found something better if we had tried well we did try but we had God's help <laughs> so that's our story and we're sticking to it peace that's my outro you like it that was awesome I totally just said peace yeah it was kind of lame <laughs> thanks